four three over four x to be equal to one over six minus one over three x okay now since we have a denominator here four we have a denominator here six we have also a denominator here three we find the lcm of all the denominators now to get the lcm this is four and this is what um three this is also 12 so we multiply three by what four we get um a 12 right and <clears throat> six can go into 12 so basically our lcm is what 12 so i will rewrite the equation here and we continue from there so the equation is x squared minus 3 over 4x to be equal to 1 over 6 minus 1 over 3x. So I said LCM is equal to what? 12. So the next thing to do is to multiply through, multiply 12 by what? The entire terms of the equation. So multiply through by so if you multiply this equation by 12, we're going to get 12 times x squared here gives us 12x squared. Now 12 times 3 over 4 gives us, uh, a, uh, let me just write it as what? 12 times 3 over 4x to be equal to, now 12 times 1 is 12, so we have here 12 over 6. And 12 times 1 again is what? 12, and we have a 12 x all over 3 beautiful so this is 12 x square minus now 4 can go into 12 right 3 times so 4 here 1 4 here 3 also um now 3 times 3 here is what 9 so we have a 9 x to be equal to 12 divided by 6 gives us 2 beautiful minus 12 divided by 3 gives 12 divided by 3 gives us um, of 4. So this is 4x here. Good. Now, since we have a left hand side as 12x squared minus 9, and the right hand side as what? 2 and a minus 4x. So we're going to take minus 4x to the left hand side, and we'll have 12x squared minus 9x plus 4x. Now, if we also take 2 here to the left hand side, we're going to get minus 2 because it's positive at this part. So finally, we have a zero at the right hand side. So if you look at the terms now, you discover that the ones in the middle can be added up. So we have a minus nine here and a plus four here. So minus nine plus four gives us minus five. So this is basically 12 X squared minus five X minus two to be equal to what zero. Beautiful. So. Next thing is to what factorize this um, quadratic what equation. So in factorizing the quadratic equation, we multiply what the first term by the last term. So multiplying 12x squared by minus 2 gives us what minus 24 gives us minus 24x squared. So what are the factors of what 24? Let's keep minus aside. 24. Now 24 is something as 1. 24 is something as 2. That's two, uh, 24. Divided by 2 gives us 14. And 3 can also go into 24. Uh, also, 8 can go into 24. And we have a 24, right? So the factors that we need here to get the middle, we're looking for what? This middle term. This middle term. Two numbers that when we multiply them, we get a 24. And when we add them together, we get a 5, right? So this is just basically um, a 3 and 8 because if you multiply 3 by what 8 you get 24 and um, 3 minus 8 is the same thing as what minus 5 so if you add a minus here you get a minus here beautiful so instead of writing 5 minus 5 here we place the minus 5 by what um, 3 and minus 8 so this implies now 12 x square plus 3 x instead of writing 5 now I'm replacing it with what this 3 and 8 minus 8x and a minus 2, which is the last term, is now equal to 0. So if you put this together and we ask ourselves, what are the what are the common term in this? We have an x here. We have x here. Now we know that 3 can go into 12. So that means 3 is common between the two of them. So this now implies 3. We bring 3x out of the bracket. And we have 4 here because 3x... 
divide by 12 x squared gives us 4 x plus <coughs> now if you factor 3 x out here we'll have a 1 minus what are, what are, what is common here is just basically 2 right because 2 can go into 8 so we have 2 2 an open bracket we have an x we have a 4 x sorry 4 x minus 1 plus 1 to be equal to 0 now at that stage it's plus 1 because um if you open the bracket you get to get a minus 2 there so the terms that are outside the bracket will bring them together and we have 3x minus what 2 in bracket and we pick the bracket that are common as what 4x plus 1 all to be equal to 0 so what this implies basically is the first bracket is equal to 0 and the second bracket equal to what 0 so this is it we have 3x minus 2 to be equal to 0 or we have 4 x plus 1 equal to what 0 okay now this also implies if 3x goes to the other part we're going to get a 3x to be equal to what 2 divide both side by 3 divide both side by 3 3 3 goes here and we finally have what um x to be equal to 2 over 3 that's for 3x over 2 also for um 4x plus 1 this basically implies we have x as what minus 1 divided by 4 so this is it so please subscribe to my channel and get more of this thank you